Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. We're here for another conversion video and this week we're tackling the Carcaridons chapter of Space Marines. These guys are known for their furious combat and fish-like tendencies. But don't worry, there'll be no fish puns in this video tonight. Let's take a look at the pieces we're going to need to put this guy together. So I've got obviously a basic intercessor. I've grabbed a couple of Space Wolf pieces. Uh, first of all, this bit here, I just want his little belt loop here. Uh, with the sort of shark's teeth on it. I want to kind of replicate some of the um, Islander feel. I thought his space full head was really good for that with the um, the plaited um, hair here. Should do it. Go over to Warcry now. This just yells sort of swordfish style um, nose and I thought it would be brilliant for a close combat chainsword style weapon. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I'm a massive fan of Ragged Cloth. So we're just going to borrow a bit of Ragged Cloth from this uh, banner here from the Undead. And finally, we've raided the um, Ideneth Deepkin kits for this backpack banner pole. I'm going to use several pieces of this. I'm going to probably use this little um, shell style symbol here to replace his belt buckle. I really like these totem pieces. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty cool. I'll find somewhere to drop them on. And I was pondering using some of this top bit just to decorate his backpack. As usual, these are kind of semi-planned. I just kind of grab some bits and go with it. So we'll uh, start working on it and see how he goes as we, uh, we get through it. First of all, I need to give him a more suitable weapon. Um, he needs a bolt pistol. So if you've got them, you can get them from the Assault Incessors kit. If you haven't, um, you can 3D print them, buy them from online, buy them from Vits resellers. Uh, I've just printed one out on my printer. So I'm just going to take the top and bottom of this dagger off because this is a really good hand for it. And I'm going to drop quickly drop a shoulder pad on the shoulder. Um, I'm doing this fairly early in the conversion and I wouldn't normally do this. So as he's going to have his hand in the air with his pistol up, just need to make sure this all fits together neatly. So we'll make sure the shoulder pad sticks on. I do find on some of the primaries kits the shoulder pads don't actually fit particularly well. Especially when the arms are sticking out at weird angles. So you just need to add a little extra glue around his armour to get the pad to fit. There we go. And the reason I had to take his hand off is because his bolt pistol would have been pointing in a weird direction. been too close to his head so we'll just slip that there and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I stick on the resin bolt pistol. Just check it fits. Uh, it fits quite nicely in there now. Obviously if the hand was round the other way it would have bumped up against his um, shoulder pad there and wouldn't have fit in. Other bits I want to do I'm gonna change his belt buckle round so I just need to strim off this round piece here flatten that area off and then we'll cut this off and just trim the back down on it make sure it fits just need to very quickly just little quick slices just strip that off there i'll try and make this as flat as i can like that i'm going to take this piece here and we're just going to cut it very gently right under there like that so now this piece has been flattened off, I'm going to stick it onto the belt buckle. There we go, like that. It just brings forward that kind of seafaring, uh, kind of nautical feel to it. Next, we're going to add, obviously, a nice tatty banner. So just strip this off the spear. And then we're going to cut out these two middle bits here. Don't need any of this. Clean up around that and then we need to level off these back bits here just a wee little bit. Now it's leveled off a little bit we're just going to drop it under his belt and push it as high as possible. Make sure it fits. Like that. That's pretty good. 
just going to add this arm to his shoulder here now. I actually want to bring the arm out very slightly. So what I'm going to do here, let it glue to his shoulder, drop a slither of plastic in from the spear that we cut off the cut earlier, just near the bottom, and then put the shoulder over the top. And that will just pad it out very slightly, giving me some space to drop a sword arm in here. Uh, as that's an easy build arm, it doesn't have a hand to it. I think it's supposed to be a cupping a bolter hand. So I've raided my Grey Knight's kit um, for a Nemesis Force Falcon hand. Um, it's got a nice angle to it. I'm just going to take this just under there. Now we take this Warcry sword and I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to cut it just above the hand here. Like that. And as you can see, I've cut it at a slight angle of forces, so I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit. Now, if you're building these guys to game with, I would strongly suggest that you pin these two together. Just drop a paper clip in between the two hand, the hand and the sword blade. Quite simply, because it's the sort of area that is likely to snap. As I'm painting them, just I'm building them just to for display. I am simply going to glue them together today. You just need to make sure that it's relatively straight that way and that way. That'll do nicely. Then we'll drop a bob of goo under there. And his hand can stick on nicely there. Now this other hand's dry, I'll super glue on his bolt pistol and then we'll do the last few bits of detailing. He's coming along nicely now, so we're going to add a few more bits and pieces of detail to him. Uh, we're going to add his head just to give him a sense of direction. Not literally a sense of direction, but to sense so we can tell how the sculpt is coming together. Next up, we're going to add some of these teeth motifs, um, kind of reminiscent of shark's teeth. So first, we're just going to literally cut just under here and just under there, and they can go along the line of this shoulder here. I've just taken off one of these um, side pieces and I'm going to add this to his bolt pistol. And finally, I really want to use this, these, this double arch here. So I'm just going to clip this other, I'll slide this other bit off here. I'm going to take this banner pole off there. Keep that because that looks useful. And I'm going to do the same on this side, but I'm going to cut it halfway here. Like that. It kind of reminds me of um, kind of whalebone style um, displays you see up in Norway and Greenland and uh, the Orkney Isles, which I know is very far away from where the Car Caradons are, the kind of des the uh, native islanders style look. And so there we have it. There's a little bit of green stuffing to do, but there is a completed Carcaradon's Primaris Space Marine. If you hang around for a moment, there'll be a painted video of him coming up in a second. So thank you very much for joining us once again here at Cock Dice. We will see you again soon. Good night.